I'd like to uh, introduce our 2016, 2014-16 Miss Kokopa, Samantha Twist, to come up and to give her a final walk and encouraging words of wisdom. Let's give her a hand. Yes. First of all, I'd like to say good luck to everybody. Um, I watched you all tonight, and you've all impressed me, and I know that you all will be um, a very good Miss Kokopa, whoever is the winner. Um, you all did so good tonight, and I know, um, just like all the other formers out here, how hard it is to get out here and how nervous you might be, but I promise it gets easier, and um, you might be nervous now, but um, soon you just be, they're going to call you up anytime, anywhere you've been, and be like, hey, it's your turn to speak, so... You'll get used to it, and um, I know you guys work so hard, so I um, hope everyone out here is cheering loud and proud for them, because I know it's difficult to be out here, and I think they all did such a great job tonight, and um, I'm looking forward to see who wins. Um, no matter what, you all did so good, and I hope that regardless of who the first place winner is, um, the rest of you still stay involved, and I hope that all the other young girls out here who are looking up to them and looking up to us, that you come out here in the next two years and you try for it because um, I know you might be scared, but um, I've learned so much. I've had such a, a great reign. I've met so many good people, learned so much about myself. I've grown so much as a woman over these last almost two years. Um, and so I'm so happy to be here. It's been such an honor to be your Miss Coca Pop. Um, right now, um, I just left Arizona Western College and on my third year, my junior year of college at Arizona State. And so I also encourage everyone to pursue their education. I'm glad to hear all the education goals in your guys' bios and all. Um, keep with it, stick with it. Um, I've had such a great time. I mean, it's such an honor. It's, I'm a little sad up here knowing that I'm gonna have to pass this on. And this is a lot, I mean, I don't know how many more minutes I have, like 15 more minutes of wearing this. And um, <laughs> makes me a little sad, but, um, I know that they will be in good hands. Whoever has this crown, whoever has this sash, I know that you guys will take care of it. I know you guys will represent your tribe with the honor that I have had. Um, I'm so proud to have been able to represent all of you as a miss. And um, thank you all. Um, oh, also, now, <laughs> I have such a long list of thank yous. I almost wrote them down. So first of all, I'd like to thank um, my former Miss Coco Shaleen for giving me such big shoes to fill. She did such a good job and she's been such a huge role model to me and she's helped me a lot. I know she's a role model to all these girls and these young girls out here as well. So thank you, Shaleen, for showing me the ropes and for being such a good role model. Um, next, I'd like to thank Deal and his family for all the early morning parades. Just like we heard earlier, I mean, my grandma, the parades start at nine. And my guy was like, okay, make sure you're there at 7. And then we ended up sitting in the truck for like an hour. And it's so cold in the mornings. And there were so many of those parades. So thank you for driving me around. Thank you for, thank you for hanging out with me, you and your family. Um, also, thank you to Justina, who helped me dance, who helped me learn. Um, I'm very thankful that I can dance now. And um, it's helped me come a lot more in touch with my roots. And I'm, I'm so happy that I've had the chance to, to dance, um, just like these girls. I hope everyone who doesn't know, I hope you get a chance to learn. Justina is a very good teacher. So thank you, Justina, for helping me. I'd like to thank my grandma, who's made all of my dresses. This is my favorite one. You might see me wear it a couple times. I think one last time wouldn't hurt. So this is my favorite one, so, so I'm wearing this one. And she also makes most of my jewelry all my necklaces, um, and she's always helping me, always keep me up to date with everything, so thank you, Grandma. <laughs> also, thank you also to my committee, who's um, very helpful, always approving things for me, always giving me new events to do. Um, thank you, guys. Um, it's been an honor being here. You're missed, so thank you to my committee as well. Thank you to my family, who has um, been to as much as events as they can, who's supported me throughout all this and um, has made me happy. I mean, I'm glad to see them all here tonight. So, hey, all you guys. Thanks for coming. I love you. And um, last but not least, I'd like to thank my people, my tribe. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for 
coming out here and supporting these girls because this night isn't about me, it's about these girls. And so thank you for coming out and supporting them because they all deserve it. And no matter who the winner is, um, we're all very proud of all of you. So thank you for letting me be your miss. Um, I've had the best last like two years. So thank you very much. And um, congratulations to all three of you guys. You guys all did so good. Thank you. We're gonna have her do her last walk. Well, let's give her a hand. So we're going to be getting ready to crown a new Miss Copa.